Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the new Groups Plus add-on for LearnDash. Now you may have seen that recently LearnDash acquired a separate plugin called Classrooms. And what they've done is brought it into their own product portfolio and released it as a premium add-on that you can buy and run alongside LearnDash. What the Groups Plus add-on does is add an extra layer where stakeholders from an organization, be they a, you know, a team leader at a company or a school teacher, they can manage their own learners and enroll people into your platform themselves. They can buy seats and um, you know, distribute them amongst their own learners so they can basically self-manage um, their own access and their, their own team's access to your platform. And that become clear as we take a look. We recently did a video showing you how you can get a demo of this, uh, but what I'm doing is going to demo.learndash.com to um, use this. And what this will do is create you a sandbox environment that you can use to play around with LearnDash and its add-ons and you know, check out different bits of functionality and see if it's right for you. If you get to the um, LearnDash demo platform or have installed this plugin yourself, what you'll probably need to do is head to plugins and then activate it so it'll look like this learn dash lms groups plus and let's activate that now what learn dash or sorry, groups plus requires is for you to enable what are called nested groups or group hierarchy so we'll just enable that here in the in the sandbox platform we need to scroll down here and just make sure that this is um, enabled and what this means is that groups can have other groups underneath them. And that's key to how this plugin works. You have sort of the main group and as a, you know, a team leader in that main group, I can then create subgroups underneath it. So what we're going to do as part of this demo is use the, uh, the group that comes in the LearnDash demo platform. So we've got this Kale Blazers and what the plugin what the groups plus plugin does is give you this sense of lead organizers so you have a, a lead person in the company who can then create groups and assign team leaders and members to them so it's like a level above a group leader so what we're going to do now is show you how this works so once you've activated the plugin you'll see in the left hand side you've got this groups plus add-on or groups plus option here and this has some sort of onboarding here and you know being honest that's a fairly overwhelming set of instructions to to take in but hopefully i can help guide you through these here what the plugin has um, and you can see it here is a view of what the group leaders would see if they uh, were the manager of kale blazers here um, and uh, what i'm going to do is create a group leader of kale blazers and show you what control they have over uh, their organization. So let's do that now. What I'm going to do is just create a new user um, here and call it, um, I don't know, John um, Kale Organizer, for example, as the username, and Kale Organizer mailinator.com as the email address. John smith and we'll just you know uh create a, a password here um it's something that we can uh, remember for the purposes of this demonstration and i'm going to add this person as a group leader and i'm just going to click add new user so we've got our kale organizer here and i'm just going to copy that email address because what i'm going to do is log in as them shortly what i'm going to do is head to lender lms and then groups and then edit this kale blazers group and what i'm going to do is add um the john smith here as the group a group leader of kale blazers here i'm just going to click update now in a private tab, I'm just going to just open one up here. 
I'm going to log into the same platform. So if I just um, copy the address of my platform, I'm going to uh, paste it in here and that will allow me to log in. Uh, I'll not, I'll just um, type it in here. So if I just find who, who I was there, I think it was, um, let's find the user. Uh, Kill organizer. And I'm logged in now as this group leader. And I can create somewhere a link to this um, Groups Plus page if I find it here. So what I'm going to do is open this page that allows people to uh, manage their own groups. And this is sort of the interface that um, I can now see as a group leader of Kale Blazers. I can manage my organization and I can email members of the organization. And if I have some seats here, I can also create users and assign them to you know, groups within my organization. So let's just add me um, some seats for this. To do this, we would head back to Lendash Groups and say that Kale Blazers here We'll just open it up. On the right hand side here, uh, that one, um, we can say how many team members they are allowed. And yes, you know, let's put 50 in there, for example. And if I just tab back to uh, this and refresh it, I can now see that as a you know, leader of uh, a team leader of Kailblazers, I can now assign 50 seats, zero of which have been used. So let's go ahead and manage the organization now. I can see I've got no teams at the moment, but I'm going to add a team. And I'm going to call this something like um, April 2023 cohort. I can specify a team leader if one already exists, but one doesn't at the moment. So I'm just going to add one now and call this person Jane Smith. I can give them a, a username, uh, Jane Kale, for example, and I'll say Jane Kale at mailinator.com. Uh, you can assign them a password as well. It will sort of generate one here. Um, and the idea is that you would then contact Jane Kale and you know they'd be able to uh, log in and they'd be the manager of that group. What you can also do is specify what courses this um, team has access to and if I just come back to the group here um, this is actually limited by the courses that you specify in here so Kale Blazers are currently allowed access to that one if I was to add some more then there would be more eligible for the Kale Blazers organizer to be able to assign let's just save that and uh, so we can manage their courses here. And now that we've done that, we can now select more than one. So we can you know, add these as well, potentially to the list of courses. So you can specify what groups are allowed, what courses. As the, I've now created my team, I can add some users to it using some of these 50 seats I've got available. So I can um, add users here so i'm going to add a team member or i can also import a list of of them from a csv template if i want to but i'm going to add a team member here if they already exist you can add them from a list but what i'm going to do is just create a new one here and call this person jack smith jack hyphen kale is their username jack hyphen kale at mailinator.com and it gets them a pass password so what we've done there is enrolled or, or created a user using up one of those seats we had there and um, they are now in the platform and have access to it. We can also see here we've got some basic views on 
who's done what in the in this group. So we've got sort of um, some reporting functionality here as well um, for this group. So we head back to our organization. We've created one group there. Just quickly, I might just create a new one here, uh, add a team, and I'll call this June 2023 cohort. Uh, you can add existing team leaders. So if you remember, I added Jane Smith. I'll say that she's the team leader of this one as well. And I'm going to give access to these courses and save that. And within the June 2023 cohort, maybe I'll just add a new user. Um, let's just add a team member here um, and call her Jenny Smith. Jenny hyphen kale. Jenny hyphen kale at mailinator.com. So now we've got two um, yeah, teams within our organization that we've set up here and each one has a different user within them. So this is quite powerful because you're letting the people in the organization administer things themselves. You know, so you're giving con complete control over to members of the organization to be able to add users to your platform, create groups, and uh, manage their access to courses. Let's see how this manifests itself in, in LearnDash. So if we head back to Learn Dash Groups, what you see here is that we've got this group hierarchy here. And John Smith actually created this April 2023 cohort and this June 2023 cohort and added these members to it. So it's quite powerful in that you're, you're giving control over to members of this organization to be able to do this. You know, they can you know, essentially create groups and users uh, within your platform. There are a few other settings you've got in Groups Plus. You know, so if you head to Groups Plus here, we've got some uh, settings of uh, you know, communication you can do to members and teams and things like that. There's quite an extensive list of um, things you can do here. You can change the um, emails that get sent when people, uh, members and team leaders are invited. So you can put in things like, um, if you remember when we added them there, you can add their password into an email that gets sent to them when they register. Certain things can be tweaked in terms of the design here. And one thing I'll point out is that you can actually create products in WooCommerce if you have that installed that allow organizations to be able to buy their own numbers of licenses. So if you remember when I set this up previously, I gave Kale um, access to 50 licenses. What you could do is give them um, a product where they can buy their own licenses and they can, you know, pay for them and, and give access to, um, you know, members they've paid for. So it's really powerful in that you can do that. And I think you can also link with Uncanny Codes as well. And um, so it's a, a useful feature there. So there are a few things you can tweak here in terms of the interface. Um, and there's a few developer resources here, which, um, you know, you can look at and tweak if uh, the sort of functionality and, and templates if you are a, a developer. So we hope you find that useful overview of how uh, Groups Plus works. And um, if you did, if you like the video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the TrainSpark YouTube channel.